Good morning. Another day in the saga of the virus. I hope today finds you well. Continuing with our stories to make us feel better, hopefully make you feel better, we're going to read from a series called Just for Fun. Uh, this is kind of a new venue that Kendra and I worked on, and it's actually some short stories inside of a short story. And I think that I pretty well explain it in the first paragraph of the story, so I won't tell you anymore. But just remember, I'm a writer, not a reader. So if I slur some words and skip some words and have to repeat, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, it's going to be a take anyway. Thank you. The Tube, from a series just for fun. One of the comments about my stories if they are, is that they're often too serious. They deal with accidents, death, poverty, cemeteries, and the hard things of life. I cannot change my style, and when I try, it's a disaster. I like to do research. For example, I did the story on George Barragona, Charles McVeigh. I also like to remember how things were. Not that they were better then, just that they include memories of people and places that are no longer with us. You see, here I go again, being morbid and reflective. Believe it or not, my childhood was not dysfunctional and some memorable things happened on the light side. My mother was 36 years old when I was born. It was 1947 and the depression was still going on in Mississippi, especially at Route 2, Box 5, Boca Chitta, Mississippi. Living on a very limited income and already having two children, when mother found out she was present, she went into her own mental depression. And I assume she stayed there till sometime after I was born. It was not what you would call a planned pregnancy. Under the circumstances and after I was born, she would always whisper to her friends that I was her little accident, little accident. Remember now, I was too young to comp contemplate what she meant, but I was old enough to know that accidents aren't good. Can you imagine growing up being known as the little accident? How would it make you feel knowing that you were something bad, something unwanted? This has certainly shaped my personality and given me the complexes that I have today. Mom's 101 years old at this writing, and sometimes she's confused when I visit her. She might momentarily ask who I am, and recently told her that I was her little accident. A smile crossed her face, and then a hearty laugh. It was a smile I had not seen in some time, she remembered. Now, if you think that being the little accident is bad, you need to hear about a friend of mine who happened to be born on the exact same day I was. His mother had gotten in a family way, pre-matrimony. That was a little more unusual back then than it is now, especially in the Bible Belt. In that part of where we live, there were more churches than people. But even devout Christians are not immune from the sins of the flesh. She concocted the story that the doctor said she had a fatal disease that could only be cured if she had a baby. She told the neighbor she was impregnated with a test tube. Of course, the child was known as the test tube baby and gossiped about among the adults. As we got older, us kids heard that from our parents and we repeated what we heard. We first called him the test tube baby and then we just nicknamed him the tube. Those were the days before you had fancy water toys for swimming and it was the time when only a, the only place to swim was the creek. We always took an inner tube from a car with us to float on. There was an inner tube on the bank, and so was our friend, the tube, who I might say his real name was Ruben. Someone yelled, throw in the tube. Half a dozen kids ran toward Ruben and threw him in the water. But this time, much like Johnny Cash's song, A Boy Named Sue, he had learned to get mean or die. And on this day, he had come of age. Not a one of us left that creek without a black eye. Ruben's deceased now, but when I pass his grave, I have the urge to write the tube on his monument, but I never have. At least, I haven't yet. <laughs>